Some might say once an agent, always an agent. A big city has been told to be on its good behavior today, and we're it. Dallas Love Field, the Dallas Fort Worth area broadcasters bring you a special description of the arrival of President John F. Kennedy. It is my high honor and my great privilege to present to the good people of Fort Worth the President of the United States. Air Force One, understand on the ground, 1738, so command post listening on. Since the weather has cleared, the bubble top has been removed and the President will be riding in the open. We were going down this Elm Street with my door open. I heard at least two shots. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. Something, I repeat, has happened in the motorcade route. I saw uh, Youngblood jump in the back seat with the vice president. He had, it turned out, he had jumped on the vice president and pushed him down to the seat and floorboard as much as he could to, you know, get him below the level of the car so that he'd be more protected. Of course, I'd already heard the third shot, and when I first looked out to the right, I saw people dropping to the ground up on this grassy knoll there, and I just, and the sound came from the right, and I just assumed that that's where the, the shooting was taking place from, from that location. We are waiting for the swearing in at the plane before takeoff. I uh, went aboard, we took out a couple of double seats, and made an area for the casket to go there against the bulkhead. I had asked the president, uh, Vice President Johnson, uh, could I open the door to where the others in the front could view the swearing in ceremony? And he said, yes, by all means. Lim was well known in the Secret Service. Everybody knew Lim. He was, he was famous. He was the SAIC of the White House detail. I always uh, equated Lim to three people, uh, George Marshall, George Patton, and MacArthur. Some lady walked by and uh, told her husband, she said, um, the president and the first lady and a bunch of Secret Service men have just been mowed down. You know, with communications and things the way they are, you, you, word spread so fast. I walked up to her and I grabbed her by the arm and I said, what, what did you say? And she said, the president and a bunch of Secret Service men have just been mowed down. And I said, where did you hear such a thing? She said, on that TV right there.